Snowmance is an unrequited classic. It symbolizes the need for true love in our life that often gets mistaken for romantic gestures that won't grant in the moment or false securities that feed into our want for instant gratification this holiday season. Instead of searching for the perfect and the unknown, look within your inner circle and appreciate those around you. 10 out of 10, Snowman's 10 out of 10. Everybody, Snowman's 10 out of 10. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. If you're new around here on Yen, we pull from every corner of nerd culture and talk about anything and everything that piques my interest. And I know what you're thinking, Zack, Christmas is over, it's March. Why is this in my inbox? Well, the, the way I like to look at life is in order to be unique, you have to follow the path less traveled. And since I didn't put out a video in Christmas, I'm looking at this YouTube channel and kind of a Thanos snap kind of deal. You gotta keep the balance somehow. So we gotta tune in to our Christmas spirit and, and, and there's no way better to do that than to talk about this wonderful little movie I found called Snowman's. I wanna first thank Mr. Jay the Zoomster for recommending this fantastic cinematic film. Thanks, Jay. I'm unsubscribing from your channel, you little It was love at first sight. Anyone could see that. I love you. I can't believe this is happening. What are you doing? Did you make me into your snow boyfriend? If you don't know anything about it, and why the hell would you? 2017 Snowman's is a story about love. It's a happy story about a boy and a girl that become friends, only for the guy to be in the friend zone his entire life and the girl to ignore him because she falls in love with a snowman. I'm not kidding. It's literally what this movie is about. We're not talking about a cinematic masterpiece here, folks. It's quite the opposite. Even though I've seen quite a great deal of these Hallmark Christmas movies, this one really just takes the cake of going out there, being a little bit unique, and also being pretty, pretty bad. So the movie starts out with Sarah, a young girl who wants a boyfriend, and she's caught making out with a snowman, so a bunch of bullies make fun of her. And I mean, I'd probably make fun of her too. She's making out with the snowman. But her best friend Nick, yeah, of course his name is Nick, this is a Christmas movie after all, calms her down and asks her what her perfect boyfriend would be. And then they dress up the snowman as if it was her perfect guy. Fast forward many years later, and we see that they continue doing the same thing every single year for every single Christmas. One year out of nowhere, the next morning, a guy named Cole knocks on the door, comes to Sarah's doorstep and says, yo, you wanna go out with me, bitch? And uh, this is the snowman, he, he's alive. And he, ha he just so happens to be a Chad. So we then spend the entire rest of the movie with Cole and Sarah dating, both being extremely happy, while Nick, the best friend, gets really jealous of Cole. And I mean, really jealous. He gets angry <laughs> throughout part of the movie. But he also decides, hey, maybe I should grow a pair of ornaments and just tell this girl that I actually like her. Luckily for him, Sarah does realize that Cole is maybe just a little bit too perfect for her. And also he's about to take her away from home to uh, to a different town, which is funny because throughout the whole movie, she's talking about how I wanna go travel. I hate my small town. And everybody is like, but you've lived here your whole life. You know it better than everybody else. And it's just a Hallmark Christmas cliche. Small town girl wants to be a big town girl. But at the end of the day, she still wants to be a small town girl. By the end of the movie, happily ever after, Nick and Sarah fall in love and uh, Cole dies. <laughs> Cole just dies. Nobody says a thing. At least at the end of Frosty the Snowman, we got the little sad music and, and everything. But Cole just, he just gone. Homie just dissipated, evaporated, gone to be a part of the water cycle once again. The problem, <laughs> the, the, the problem, like there isn't many problems. The problem with Snowman's is that it's such a ridiculous concept. It is unique, I'll give it that. It continues to be a cookie cutter Hallmark Christmas movie. So while it could have been like this actually wild idea 
the, the web placers. I don't think it goes far enough because it has to follow that formula. All of these movies are the exact same movie. There's a boy and a girl that like each other. They just don't know it yet. So a Christmas miracle puts them together. And then this older guy who has a beard and looks kind of like Santa Claus, he's always in the movie talking about miracles. Just so happens that he's Sarah's dad in this one. And then there's always a love triangle. One of the guys does something wrong that makes the girl fall in love with the right guy. The girl's never in the wrong either. It, even in this case, where we have a grown woman with a snowman fetish, there, there's gotta be like some psychiatric help that's needed here. One of the worst parts of this film though is probably like the side characters. We have Sarah's co-worker friend named Isabel, who, who's supposed to be, I think she's supposed to be some kind of like redneck because she's always talking about hunting and eating jerky. But then she also has like this Minnesota and Canadian accent. I, I don't quite understand where she has a place in the film. She's just really annoying. But I think the biggest problem I had with this film, I don't know what you're thinking, Zach. Zach, you have a problem with this movie? Are you sure? The, the thing is, is that I don't mind watching films like this. And that's my biggest problem. Is that I didn't have a bad time watching it. Like, yeah, it's a bad movie. The writing is very cheesy. There's probably like some plot holes with the whole snowman thing. It's extremely cliche. There's nothing in the filmmaking department that's special. Uh, it's so clearly a made-for-TV Hallmark Christmas movie, but yet I found it very easy to just sit there and watch it all the way to the end. And that's unfortunately the case with a lot of these Hallmark movies. They're just easy to marathon. and You know what's going to happen, so you don't have to pay too much attention to it. And that's frustrating me because I wanted to hate it, but I couldn't. Because seeing a snowman come to life is so incredibly dumb. And yeah, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. So there. Merry Christmas to everyone. My Christmas 2019 requirement has been fulfilled. I don't have to talk about Christmas again until December 2020. And then we're going to talk about 20 Hallmark movies in one video. Because I hate myself. I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I don't even know what I'm having for breakfast tomorrow. Let alone what I'm doing for Christmas. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go hit that like button. If we're using it, like, you can hit that dislike button. Let me know what you thought about the video in the description box below. And go watch Snowman. It's, it's pretty epic. This is my little homie. He's gonna be in the videos from now on. He's pretty epic, I think. I think he's pretty epic. Shout out to the shout out to my grandma for giving me this for Christmas. She been giving me these teddy bears since I was like a baby baby. So I got him somewhere. Like he a little homie, so I had to put him in the video. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.